Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about front spoilers and uh, w what their effect is on uh, on cars. Basically when you have a car, use a s simple image of a car, when cars are traveling at high speed, uh, you have obviously a lot of air hitting the car, both on top, on the sides and below the car. And that air going beneath the car uh, builds up because there's a restricted uh, amount of space beneath the car and that air buildup, especially at high speeds, creates lifting pressure. Basically pressure which lifts the car up. So basically that air is going below the car and acting as a sort of an air cushion and that cushion is uh, lifting the car up. And this, this lifting of the car is basically uh, making the car unstable because uh, the wheels are not gripping on the road as, as they should and that's why when you when you travel with a, with a certain car at a certain speed the car begins to feel unstable because that air cushion build up below the car is lifting the car up and you have less grip than when you're traveling at slower speeds so now we come what what do what do these spoilers do let me just remove some of that stuff here so now a spoiler, I'm just going to change colors. We'll take red. Now a spoiler, a front spoiler is mounted here. And now what a front spoiler does, it when air hits the car, or uh, shall we say the bottom of the car, the air spoiler acts like a wall or like a dam. It doesn't allow the air to go below the car, but rather it deflects it to go along the sides of the car. So basically, that air is not lifting the car anymore. It's just being deflected to the side. So this, this way, with a, with a spoiler, you have your car is more stable at higher speeds and uh, because it's not being lifted by that air cushion. And that's why it's also... Um, or it makes sense to also have some side spoilers mounted to the sides of your car because you don't want that deflected air that's going here you don't want it to leak back into or back into the lower into the underside of your car with side spoilers that is avoided and that airflow is redirected along the sides of the car to the back of the car without those side spoilers you have to risk that that air deflected by the front spoiler that, that that air gets leaks back into the underside of the car and thus again building up that cushion. So that's why it's very beneficial to have not only a front spoiler but also some side spoilers which avoid that leakage. Now another effect of, of, um, of spoilers is reduced drag. Now what does drag mean? Drag is basically the amount of turbulence your car creates in the wind and that drag factor um, decides how fast you can go in a straight line and also your fuel consumption. Now, the underside of the car is nothing but engines. I mean, if you, if you look at the bottom of the car, you would have something like that. That's the bottom of the car. You would have your engine here. Then you'd have your transmission here. Okay. Here's the drive shafts, here are the wheels, the front wheels in this case if it's a front wheel drive. Then you have your exhaust pipe going out there and all those structures at the bottom they're all exposed to the air. So having air travel or, or hit the underside it's going to hit all those structures and those structures are not aerodynamically very optimal. So that means those structures create a lot of turbulence a lot of drag and basically by diverting that air away from that underside from that non-optimal underside you save yourself or your car saves you saves a lot of drag because the air flow is not hitting that underside that engine that transmission that drive shaft and whatever there else is and um, to the, uh, attached to the underside of your car and by diverting the air away from that underside Basically, a spoiler not only uh, uh, negates lift, but also reduces drag. 
Those are the two main factors or main reasons uh, behind mounting spoilers, especially in racing cars, in touring cars, they have the car is very low and that spoiler avoids that air from hitting the underside of the car and also reduces substantially reduces drag because the underside of the car is everything else but uh, aerodynamically optimal.